ready to go. I'm on time. It's Tuesday. Locking this down to two minutes. Let's get it done. What's up, everybody? Peter McKinnon here, and welcome back to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. It's so good to see all of your smiling faces, and today's topic, we're jamming on three ways to enhance your photos in Photoshop. Now, today's video is gonna specifically go over the first way, and I'm going to roll this out over a series of three videos. These are techniques that I've been using for years. I first started doing this in 2009. Sometimes I do it a little more subtle than others. Sometimes I do it in a very bold-like manner. It's really fun to do. It's a way to kind of accent the colors that are already in your photo and turn them into something that's a little more like larger than life, sort of like superhero-esque, but little almost sci-fi. It's a kind of a weird mix kind of thing. Here's some examples. Obviously you saw the thumbnail, which is uh, my friend Jay, who's a firefighter. And here's another example of my friend Adam that came up with a device that shoots fire from your wrist. Super cool. And here's another one of my friend Spencer, who's actually a Canadian Special Forces Scout sniper. So those are three examples of what I'm going to show you over over these next three videos. Today, specifically, we're talking about color gradients and how to kind of accentuate the colors, like I said, that already exist in your photo and bring them out with a little more bold, larger than life flavor, if you will. So we're gonna use Photoshop for this. So before we jump in, let's throw two minutes on the clock. <laughs> And let's get started. All right, so fire up Photoshop, grab a photo that you want to apply this effect to, and let's get started. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is come down here to the color pickers. Uh, you can reset those to black and white by hitting X and D on your keyboard, but we're gonna click on one of them, which is gonna open up the palette, and you're just gonna select the color that you wanna use. In this case, we're gonna use red. Now keep in mind that I'm applying this effect to a photo that I've already done it to, so it's gonna be a little heavier than I would probably recommend, but for explanation purposes, it should do just fine. Once you have that color set, selected, come down here, start a new layer, and then we're gonna slide all the way up to the gradient selection tool and make sure this one here with the transparent background is selected. Hit G on your keyboard to open up that gradient, hold down shift, and you're gonna drag across a straight line. Holding shift locks that line to be straight. If you didn't have shift held down, uh, you could drag it up and down, up and down, etc. but we want it to be perfectly straight. So let's drag that across. And boom, we've got a red gradient. You might be saying that looks terrible and I would agree. So come over here to your blending mode, scroll all the way down to color and that's going to effectively change that entire gradient to be a solid red, but it's gonna blend with the background. The thing is we don't want everything in this photo to be only red. So we're gonna change the fill and the opacity over here on the right to kind of tone that down just a little bit. So that looks a lot better. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna use blue instead of red on the other side. So again, select your blue, hit G, hold down shift, drag over that gradient, change that to color in the blending mode and then adjust the opacity and the fill and you've got a really interesting lighting dynamic here without having to use gels or actual strobes. This was all done basically just with available light. And there is a perfect example of one of the steps that I use to kind of enhance my photos and my portraits to make them feel a little more larger than life is the best way I could put it. Super fast, here's another version of my friend who is a scout sniper. As you can see, I faded green from the right and blue from the left using the exact same technique, which pulls out the accents of the forest and the mood and the tone and the light of the day, which just makes everything a little more bold and colorful, which is my style. But I think that you guys will probably have a little bit of fun with this, so I urge you to check it out. Next week, we're gonna be talking about how to add even more elements to make your photos even more hyper-realistic. Ooh, that's a good one. So stay tuned for that. And guys, I hope you liked this video. Hit that like button if you did, smash it if that's something that you're into. Subscribe if you aren't already. And, and I will see you on the next Two Minute Tuesday.